So I've just felt compelled to say this. So I see the world, I see change happening. And I don't mean good or bad change. I mean, in life, there comes a point where the universe has to balance things. So in life, everything is about balance, yin and yang, positive, negative, right? Sperm, egg, male, female, black and white, red and black at the casino, night and day. And what's happened is that there's essentially too many trees in a forest and one tree has got a, has set a light. It's just caught a light because the sun heated it too much and it set the tree alight. And it's too close to the other trees that the other trees have also burnt down with them. So one tree has essentially taken down a whole forest of trees because they were all too close to each other and it has taken them all down and they've all burnt. And so now what you've left with is just land with burnt trees. And all those trees will just simply disintegrate and become part of the earth. Uh, mud is trees, broken down trees, earth. That is all the same thing, right? When you think of earth, you probably think of this floating rock in space. Earth is the mud. Mud is the tree. Trees are the mud. It's all the same thing, right? If you actually look at a bone in a chicken um, and you get to the bone marrow, you can actually just break that down with your hand and you realise, wow, this physical thing which I thought was solid isn't solid at all. It's no different to, to mud. And so what I'm getting at is that I don't think that civilization and society is going to go back to normal. If you understand how long it would have taken for trees in a massive open space to grow big enough, to grow close enough to each other, to then be in the proximity where it can catch a light and burn down, it could take hundreds of years for those trees to grow to that level. Society in life these days, or in a way around the world, has literally just rocketed over the last 15 years. 15 years ago, you know, there wasn't internet, there wasn't phones, there was no Xbox, no TVs, no laptops. And all of a sudden, we've got all of this in like 15 years. And yet you could say it took, you know, hundreds of years to come up with a, with a light system, like a light bulb or something, or how to fish, or, you know, what, you know what I'm trying to say. So... We've reached the peak of our evolution. Now, people will say, oh, it's only the beginning. Man's going to become really smart and then we're going to teleport and go to Mars. I disagree. Everything comes to an end. When Bitcoin goes up, it comes down, right? You're young, you're ambitious, you're athletic, and then you get older and you start to get crinkly and your brain starts to go and your muscles start to disintegrate and your bones don't start to work and then you die. There is no such thing as as forever. And so, so civilization, the establishment, what is the establishment? So we go to school to learn the system to work for the establishment. The establishment want lawyers, they want mathematics, they want people who can read. And then you go and work for them, right? It's part of the establishment. And what's happening is that the establishment, a.k.a. big corporations... Big companies are getting too big that there's too many people wanting to work for the establishment. There's too many people competing to create their own establishment. There's not enough people working for the establishment to keep up with the demand of people wanting a job in the establishment. That now the establishment, a.k.a. for example, Amazon, um... They haven't got <clears throat> enough resources to keep a system, right? For example, what happened to years and years ago when you go to a Chinese restaurant and everyone's Chinese? You go to a Indian restaurant, everyone's Indian. You go to a Greek restaurant or Italian restaurant, everyone's Italian, everyone's Greek, right? Now you go to a Chinese restaurant, you've got European, you've got English people. You go to a Japanese restaurant... Half of them aren't even Japanese, most of them are European, some of them are English, some of them are Chinese, some of them are black. So now it's like, what happened to the the authenticity, the cuisine of going into a place? It's like if you go into, say, Singapore or China, you want to smell the Chinese food, you want to see the culture, you want to hear how they speak, you want to see them walking around with barefoot, you want to see them just, you know, go to India. 
they're going in and out of traffic and you know they've got like four kids on the back of a moped and they they're not even hooting at each other and i'm like to them that's normal right they've got bales of hay on their on their motorbike they've got three kids literally hanging on the back they're swerving in and out of each other no one dies no one has an accident and that's that's called their norm that's what they're used to right and i'm seeing and i'm and so basically what i'm saying is that you go to like say a restaurant and there's no there's no culture anymore. It's just all mass produced. So if everyone's selling pulled pork, everyone sells pulled pork. If everyone's selling this vegan food, everyone sells the vegan food. Now, businesses are simply serving what the majority of people want, right? For example, if you wanted Chinese years ago, you got to go to a Chinese restaurant. If you wanted Mexican, you go to a Mexican restaurant. Now you've got restaurants like, say, McDonald's and Domino's or whatever, big companies rather than sticking to their normal pizza or just chicken they're selling everything they're selling burritos they're selling fucking vegan food they're selling chinese stuff and everyone's just simply serving for the majority rather than having their own unique speciality and so now for example as I said with amazon and clothes shops there's no customer service there's no Oh, I'm really sorry, but tell us why you didn't like these trousers. Now it's just, yep, send it back, we'll give you a refund, no questions asked. And it's just about churning over the money, churning over the money. So now what happens is, is that people abuse the system. You go into a place like that and you say, my top doesn't fit, my chicken isn't cooked, there's a hair in it. Don't question, like, you haven't even got hair in your head, mate. It's, oh, no problem, we'll give you another meal. So now everyone's like, wow, if I just kind of say what I want, I want this, I want that, then what happens is, is that the company just give it to you. Like throw the dog a bone, shut him up for five minutes, you know, put a, a dummy in the child's mouth and he'll fuck off and shut up. And so now what you've got is all these big companies, just too many people to try and manage that. They're just throwing bones out. Just give them this, give them that. And all this money, which isn't being correctly managed, is actually what's keeping these businesses afloat. For example, it's crazy how much a company can make in a year. For example, a cinema chain can make a hundred million in a year. But in one year, it could lose a billion if it doesn't open its stores for one year. That's crazy. That just says that the amount of money going out and the amount of people needed to make this system work is so far different to the amount of money coming in. Like They have to spend so much just to get X amount back. And what you're seeing is especially with the COVID coming around, is that companies aren't as strong as they seem, right? And now what's happening is that all these companies, they are, they're fucked. After one year of not being open, they're fucked. And if these are the establishment where you go to school to work for the establishment, if the establishment isn't here, businesses aren't here, big, big businesses aren't here, then you don't need to go to school. There's no need to, to learn fucking algebra and maths and English and science and, you know, there's no need to do that because you're only doing that to work for the establishment. Otherwise, you work for yourself. What does that mean? Find a way to trade yourself. If you want something, you go and get it yourself. You trade and get it yourself, which is how it used to be many, many, many years ago. And so if you imagine how long it's taken for McDonald's to get as big as it has in Domino's and Amazon, you know, you hear the story of Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg 20 years ago in their rooms five, six years trying to launch this business. And these businesses have only really been around for like, say, 10 years. But you see how quickly they can just lose everything. You literally have seen companies just disappear, like Virgin Airlines and Topshop and Top Man, and how quickly they can just disappear. And if these businesses are like what's keeping civilization and society in, in order, then... Essentially, as I said, if it's taken like 10, 50, if it's taken like 100 years for all those trees to get as big as they have, and literally one fire can burn it all down in a second, it's going to take a long time for civilization and society to get back to where it is after COVID. Because it's all about, it's destabilized civilization. It can't be the same. You can't just fuck off on a plane and go on holiday anymore. You can't just get on a train anymore. Because it's just too many people and there's so many systems and don't even get me started about everything being online. Everyone's going online now because they can't work from home. Jesus Christ. You have no idea. <clears throat> the internet can just go at any... 
there could be a solo storm or an electrical storm that could fuck up the 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 energy which we use for Wi-Fi and 3G. And everything is on internet these days. Everything. Right? I'm the, I, have, I have a Facebook account which I do some business on. I was posting in some groups. And they blocked my account because it was suspicious activity. So now I can't even go on Facebook. And everything's on Facebook. All my chats, everything, on Facebook. I can't access it. And I'm fucked. So now I'm thinking, shit. I need to use email and phone number. Go back to the basics. Right? Everything's all online these days. No. Where everyone goes, you go the opposite. Yes, we have only survived because we have kept ourselves in packs where we feel secure. Right? Stronger in numbers. But let me tell you something. When everyone goes right, it becomes saturated. You need to go left. That's all I have to say right now.